Hey, my name's Nick. I'm with Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. We are the number one dealer for Class B RVs in the state of Florida. We're number three in the whole U.S. And people ask me all the time, Nick, are you making that up? No, we sell more Class Bs than anybody else in the state of Florida. And we're in Gainesville, Florida, a little dealership in the middle of a little town. But all we do is specialize in Class B RVs, camper vans, sprinter vans, transits, ProMasters. That's it. But what we're getting into now are these B pluses. They are so impressive. They are so cool. They're still about 25 feet, a little taller, a little wider, a little more space, but they, they have that same small footprint as the Class B. This is a B plus. So I'm super, super excited today to go through this entire Winnebago view with you. This is a 2023 Winnebago view. It's a 24D model. It's on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. They sell more of these views and Navions than any other B plus on the Sprinter chassis. This is the number one on the Sprinter chassis. So awesome RV. I was so impressed with it when we got it in. I, I think you're gonna love it. There's so much cool stuff that Winnebago has done on this Winnebago view. So they were the first ones to make them. They started in 2005, building on the Sprinter chassis, and now they've been making them for 16, 17 years now. I had to do quick math. 17 years now they've been making these Winnebago views, so they got it down to a science. So I can't wait to walk through this entire Winnebago view with you. So we're going to start on the outside of the coach walking through and I know everybody wants to jump inside but the outside of this Winnebago view is so impressive I mean I when we got it in you could just tell by looking at it that it's different than everything else and every other B plus on the market so start off with the full body paint so these are not decals this is full body paint like you can't scratch these off they don't fade they don't peel or crack this has the full body paint on the entire coach. So just right there, it really sets it apart from a lot of the other, um, I don't wanna say cheaper, less expensive, just other B pluses that are on the market. So that's very impressive. When I saw it immediately, I knew that. Um, something else pretty cool. So I like these little toppers like this. I know I know people on the B pluses, you know, they're like, oh, does it have to have the topper? So it does a couple things. A, the biggest thing is it gives you more storage inside the coach. So it, it, it gives you more storage, gives you more cargo capacity, more carrying capacity and all that. But Winnebago does it right. It also gives you another bed up there. But Winnebago does it right. Most of them are about that thin and that's the hottest place on the entire coach hotter than anything else that's the hottest place but what they do is they do this big i think it's like a three inch block foam insulation i mean if you hear this thing I mean, that sounds sounds like you're beating on the side of a concrete building i mean that just hurt actually my knuckles but that that is the real deal it's a full fiberglass roof a one-piece fiberglass roof which is great and this thing is so well insulated that it's going to be better insulated than almost the rest of the coach so if your kids or grandkids are sleeping up there or if you have stuff there you don't want to melt in the sun that's going to be perfect so as we're walking through there's this, this big um step here that has all the little w's on it i love how winnebago incorporates their w 
in everything they do. That is something that, it's almost like the Where's Waldo. You know, you kind of walk around and you find all these little W's everywhere. So I like the step there. I like the big, the two step there. And you can even turn it to where as you open and close the door, it stays open the whole time. So I like that, it's not opening. I've had these things hit my shin before, it's so annoying. But this one's staying out the way we have it set up right now to where nice big steps getting in and out of the coach. So before we talk about the storage, something that I always talk about in Winnebago. So we sell the whole Winnebago line, Travados, the Eras, the Bolts, the Solus, all of the Winnebago. And one thing that I absolutely love that other companies are doing now, but something I absolutely love is this dual pane acrylic window. It's an awning style window. So you can open it all the way and you can get a ton of fresh air. So when you're in Florida, like right now in the middle of August, you're not gonna wanna leave this open. <laughs> Somebody asked me the other day, why do you talk about being so hot in all your videos? Cause we live in Florida, it's hot like 10 months a year. But if we lived in North Carolina, this would be open all the time cause it's beautiful. And so this can open, it can stay open. There is a screen here. Well, this is the nightshade, but then see if I'm tall enough, there's your screen. So there's a screen here that you can have down. So if you did want to leave this open, you could have the screen down like this. So that way those big old mosquitoes don't go flying. Well, they could probably get through there still. They'd just poke a hole in it. But nice screen there, the night thing there. And then also you can pass things through. So when we camp, funny story, I got four kids. So they're 18, 16, 13 and 11, right? So I'm on the tail end of kids living at my house. But when we camped, there were like two, four, six, and eight. We camped in Winnebago View. And and my and the kids loved it because we were in such tight quarters. But we were able to pass things through this, opposed to opening the door, letting the toddler out, the whole the, the two-year-old you gotta kind of keep him in jail in there. But we would pass things through here. So that way I was cooking and my wife would hand me and I'd hand it back without opening the door. So pretty neat little area right here for this nice dual pane window that you can keep it closed as well. So storage, 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 storage. There's storage everywhere, inside, storage, outside. Tons, tons of cool storage in this coach. So in the Mercedes Sprinter B Plus, this is the only one that has a pass-through storage. If you guys have owned any of their Winnebago Journeys or you've owned any of the American Coach Dreams or any of the big, huge Class A's, you know there's pass-through storage all over it and you take advantage of that. This compartment here has, a lot of it is, is normal storage. It's a deep, nice, heavy-duty compartment. On the top of it, about this much, you can pass it through to the other side. So that's great for fishing poles, for a table, for anything storage-wise that you need to pass right through this coach. So Winnebago View, the Navion, they have this pass-through storage that, that goes in this floor plan. Not all floor plans have it. This is the D floor plan. I'm assuming that means dinette. I'm, I'm not quite sure. But this does have the pass-through storage. So nice big storage compartment there. Um, easy open, easy close. We're good there. So as we keep going, there's another compartment right here. This is very unique. So this is a diesel generator. So most of these have a propane generator and you have to go get propane somewhere. So it's just another stop you have to make, another place you gotta find. When you're out of propane, you're out of propane and you gotta go find someone to give you propane. The great thing about the diesel generator is when you fill up your, your fuel tank, cause this is a diesel sprinter. When you fill up your fuel tank, the, the diesel, it shares to this. So it is an added cost to have it on there and I thought it was a thousand percent necessary to do it because of that. When you're camping, the last thing you want to worry about, is if you're in the middle of a national park and you have a full tank of diesel, the last thing you want to worry about, where am I getting my propane at? You're like, crap, where's propane? And, and you're on Google and you're this and you're that and you're trying to find propane everywhere and diesel generator is 100% the way to go. It's more efficient and, it's, and it just makes your life that much easier to where you can boondock with the generator with the batteries, with everything, the solar panels, everything this thing has to offer, you can boondock very easy. So nice, big, huge diesel generator. It does have the Truma AquaGo system, which, which is the, the best uh, hot water heater on the market. Um, this is pretty cool too. This is a storage compartment where you can keep things in the coach up top. This, this is in the back, like under the bathroom area. A uh, funny story, we would tailgate out of one of these for the Florida Gator football games. We're going to have a big year this year. 
Um, we were tailgate at one of these, and and this was kind of our our little stash for our uh, for our booze when we tailgated. So we would keep it hidden and locked up, and then you know you have a little bar right here. So there's lots of things you can do with this area, but that's what we did when we were tailgating. Um, another nice compartment area. This is waterproof storage here. As we are going across the back here, there is this nice big ladder. So people ask me, how do I service the solar panels? How do I get on the roof? There is a ladder here that you can climb up if you would wish. Um, some people utilize this ladder for different things. You can strap a kayak to it. You can, you can strap a uh, cargo carrier, whatever you want. But you know, a lot of people use the tow hitch for a, some type of carrier in the back. You can put things in as well. You, there's, there's about 3,000 pounds of towing capacity on here, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, there'll be a little graphic that goes on that tells you exactly what the towing capacity is. Um, but you can tow a trailer, you can tow a small car, motorcycles, dirt bikes, four-wheelers, and uh, uh, it does have the capacity for that. Um, you got your ladder, you, you, you can get on the roof, you can store things with. I like how clean the back end looks. I mean, it has a clean look. Um, I like that there is a big backup camera on there as well. So it's just a real clean look. You know, they've Winnebago... Every, every year as they're coming out with this stuff, they're, they're making it better, more modern, cleaner inside, cleaner lines, all of that. So as we're still walking through the outside, um, this is pretty neat. So if you've ever camped, the absolute worst thing, absolute worst thing about camping is the black tank mess, right? The absolute worst thing. They are always trying to improve it and find ways to make it better. Um, I think the black waste tank flush is big. It, it gets any odors out, any smells, and it just keeps your black tank clean. So I recommend you do this all the time. You just hook a hose up in there, and it just flushes it, and it, and it just kind of keeps it clean, you know. Um, we'll, I'll show you some of the tanks here in a second. So this here is actually where the, where the tanks are. So, so down here you have your 30-amp plug. You do pull that out and plug it in. Um, you have your black tank drain, your gray tank drain. There's a spot for fresh water here as well. So, so what you can do is you can have a, a small hose, like a three foot hose here if you want, and you can clean everything right here. Um, and then you can store the hose in there. There's a water pump, there's hot water, there's cold water. Everything, there's an outside shower, so you can clean your dog. You can clean your dishes out here, whatever, whatever you actually, this has the biggest galley of any sprinter. So your dishes are fine to be done inside. but. Here's your hose, so you hook it up here and you dump it there, and then all of your stuff you need is right there. So pretty easily accessible, um, nice storage compartment. I like it in the back also, because that's usually when you're camping where they put everything. Um, as we walk, continue to walk, this is where you fill your potable water. So I like this being up high. Um, you can fill it up here. This has the most impressive sizes of all the tanks. The black water tank, the gray water tank, the fresh water tank. I think the fresh water is like 40 gallons. I think the black water is like 37 gallons or 30, like a lot. I mean, we'll have a little graphic on the screen showing all of it, but it's so, they have the largest tanks of any of the Mercedes Sprinter Class B Pluses, any of them. The view has the largest tank. So real impressive there as well. This is the last of the big, huge storage. So when this slide is out, it is gonna be a little more difficult to access this, but this is for things that you, you don't need a lot of. So there's a big storage compartment right there as well. Um, this is your propane tank and all that where they would fill it. There is another nice big awning style dual pane window here. I did not open it ahead of time or I would show it to you, but it is a nice acrylic dual pane window.
So finally, we are inside this Winnebago View, the 24D model. Absolutely beautiful in here. One of the coolest things, and it hasn't always been the case with, with, with RVs with a slide in, is that when you're in this view and the slide is all the way in, so you're driving down the road, this is how it feels. There's still space in here. You can sit here, you can walk, you can access the fridge, access the bathroom. There's a couch, a dinette. There's so much space in here, even with this slide in. But the cool thing about this D is when I clap my hands, this slide is gonna start going out. Ready? I mean, it's magic. This slide listens to my, actually, the guy holding the camera is opening the slide. But it takes 10 seconds for the slide to go out. So when you're driving down the road and you wanna pull over, you can let the slide out or you can leave it in. Either one, you'll be very comfortable using the RV even when you're driving down the road. So most of my class Bs do not have a slide out. Most of them don't, but this one does. And now I see why people love them. I mean, this is bigger than my house, I think. I mean, this is really, really nice space in here. Everywhere, I mean, tons of space. The dinette area, I mean, these are even cool. I mean, check this out. So these things come up to give an extension of the bed here. So they both come up. So there's three or four seat belts here. There's a couch back there. I don't think there's any seat belts on it, but there's a couch there. So you have seating for like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like eight seats in here. That can definitely fit my family. There's a bed up here. So this is the, the top bunk I was talking about earlier. Uh, very, very well insulated. You can even feel it. It's no hotter there. I mean, like it's, I mean, right now the AC is not on in here and it's not that hot. I mean, this feels great and this is so well insulated. Um, so this thing's cool because if you need to leave this down and fill it with storage, you can. If not, you can lift this part up and you can have easy walking back and forth from the cab to the back of the coach. So I really like how, how they did this. There is a ladder you can put here for kids to climb. I, I, I mean, I, I guess adults can sleep up there too, um, but there's a sleeping situation here. There's a sleeping situation back there. There's, there's, there's lots of options when it comes to driving in here and sleeping. So get started. What makes the view different than everything else, right? Because everybody makes one of these, right? Everybody makes some type of Mercedes Sprinter um, B plus. And what makes the view the best selling one, you know, and, and, and I can hopefully in this video, show you what you know before the before i started filming i called my rep my uh, winnebago rep i said hey matt i said i'm about to do a video on a view if you had three things that makes this the best selling one what are they he goes can i give you a 15 i said no dude i just need three because i'm about to do this video <laughs> and so he was all excited but one of one one of the things he told me was this cab area is very unique the paint's unique the the feel of the inside the tank capacities the big galley, the solar, the, the I mean, the tank sizes was a big one, he said. So anyways, so first we start with this door. So this door here looks unlike any other door on, a, on an RV. Usually they're real flimsy, they rattle, and the screen is built into it to where like you're opening and closing the screen. You know, this has the nightshade here, which is very neat. So you got a nightshade right there. It also has real easy access. So Usually you got two handles and you're opening and you're opening and you're breaking things. This has one handle right here. I mean, the easiest thing you can do. And then, pretty cool, this is the screen. So there's no rattling there. There's no opening and closing it and this and that and it flings, it stays open. No, you open it when you walk out and then you close it when you want it on. So very, very nice screen. And then I like there's a little part right here for trash. Check that out. I mean, they're utilizing the space. That's the thing about any RV. I don't care if it's a 40 footer, a 19 footers, we 17 footers. Utilizing the space that makes sense. You know, before, I would say 10 years ago, when people were designing RVs, I would always say that people who do not camp are the ones who design the RVs. Now, especially Winnebago, the guys that are designing, the guys, the girls, the women, men that are designing these RVs are people who camp because stuff like that, like when you're outside, you want to put your, your trash somewhere, but you don't want to leave it outside. You can leave your door open, close your screen, and you got your trash right there. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. So the there is an equalizer jack system on here, so that's another one of the options. The options that I like to order these with is the full body paint, the diesel generator, the acrylic windows, 
and the hydraulic jack system. So the equalizer system has an app that you can control with your phone um, and, and it's all here. So it levels the coach, you press a button and it totally levels your coach. That way as you're walking, it's not bouncing, which these are pretty steady, but th th it still has jacks. A um, few other things can be controlled by apps. So the carefree awning can be controlled by an app. Your TV can be controlled by an app. Um, the, the few other things in the coach that can be, but the jack system was a big one that, that you can control with an app that I think is great. So as we're walking, something else pretty cool, and it's not expensive and not a lot of people do I like these LED lights. So if it's nighttime and I need a little night light and everything else is shut down, you can leave these LED lights on. I think it just gives it that nice, that, that nice warm feel in here, having the, the, the low dim LED light. So the galley here is, he told me seven feet, 10 inches. So I'm six foot tall. So my wingspan six foot tall and I still have another foot plus two feet past it. This is the biggest galley of any of these Mercedes Sprinter V pluses. So a few things that are neat about it. So A, it's big, right? I can make my ham and cheese sandwiches. I can fry some eggs, make some bacon. I have lots of cooking room here. The other thing that's pretty cool is when you open this window here, pop it open, you can pass things out. So you can cook, pass things out. If you want, I'm gonna keep it closed because it's hot outside. Um, there is the screen here, and this is something that we've talked about on the outside of the coach, which I think is very unique. I also really like a square sink. Um, and then you can use these as cutting boards. Check that out. Pretty sweet, huh? But nice big square sink. So this is the same size sink as a sink at your house. So nice big thing. You pull this down, you can wash. These are luxuries that you find in a class A or at your really nice house. So really cool here. You can get it out of the way if you need more room. But I like, I really like the cutting boards. I like if you don't want to use it, just keep it covered and you can use it for storage as well. So really nice and easy to use, big sink, lots of space here and very unique as well, an induction stove and a gas stove. So lots of reasons why people like induction better. Some people like gas better, depends on what you're cooking. You know, um, a lot of people who truly like to cook are used to cooking on gas and they're like, ah, I don't like induction. So they give you a gas stove. People who don't even want to touch the gas, they can use the induction. So, so options, 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 options. Okay, storage. So we have a big, huge storage compartment here. I think I can fit in there if I balled myself up pretty tight, like a, uh, what are those people called that ball themselves up really tight? I don't know. But whatever those people are called, I bet you I can fit in there and uh, it's so big. There is a water, there's a Culligan water filter in there. Um, lots of space for anything you need. So pretty cool there. Um, this is a convection microwave. So really neat microwave there that uh, is convection, which is great. Um, you can bake things. Nice big pots and pans drawer here. Uh, and it's light and it's lit lighted. It's lighted. It's lit. So even if it's dark in the coach or you need to see what's in the back, everything is lighted. So nice big drawer here as well. All your little fancy remotes, huge, huge drawers, as they say, huge, nice soft closing. I mean, look at that. This is like stuff you find in a million dollar house. I mean, I'm just so, you know, I went back and watched the video I did 10 years ago and just the technology and the craftsmanship and like the modern look of these RVs compared to 10 years ago is night and day. I had a lot more hair 10 years ago when I started doing these videos, but the craftsmanship, it has changed, everything has changed tremendously, tremendously in the last 10 years. So as we're moving through, that's the galley. Oh, that's the bottom of the galley. Let's, let's check out the top. So I, you know, some people look at this and they say, yeah, I'm not a fan of the white cabinets. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you are a fan of the white cabinets. Um, this is the darker wood with the white top. So, so it has the white tops there and the white here. It kind of gives it that fresh look. Um, I'm curious to know what people like about it. If they like it, leave it in the comments if you would. And that helps me when I order these. But um, nice big here. I like how it's padded there. Things don't really slide so much in a padded area. Um, you also have this one. So that there. You do have some of your controls here. So you have your Xantrax. It does have a 2000 watt inverter a Xantrax inverter. 
It has a big Group 31 battery. Um, it, it also has 200-ish, I don't like quoting exact things, 200-ish watts of solar on the roof. So um, it has a diesel generator, and those are your tank heaters up there, and nice storage here too. So talking about power and all that, all the RVs these days are going to lithium, right? So Winnebago has a lithium option. Um, I, this thing's like 5,200 bucks to add a couple lithium batteries to it. Um, my recommendation has been to try it out, to try it out the way it is, see if you need it, because if you need it, you can drop in some lithium batteries as well. It already has the inverter, it already has the solar, and you can drop in two Battleborn batteries. Um, if you want, you can you can start off with it. Not everybody needs it, you know. It just it just totally depends on how you're going to use it. The 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 TV here opens, and there is storage in there. There's also a paper towel holder. Check that thing out. You can put a paper towel in there. How neat is that? So very cool that they that they truly do think of all of this. There's a DVD player in there. There are HDMI jacks if you want to put an Apple TV. You want to put a Roku, if you want to put an Xbox, if you want to put whatever, your computer. You can use this as another monitor. So you can be working on your laptop here, and you can be using this as another monitor here. There is a sound bar that is also Bluetooth, so you can Bluetooth it from your phone and listen to music while you're in here without having to carry another speaker around. So lots of lots of cool features and options and all that. But, you know, talking about the, the, the battery thing, um, the fridge here is a 12-volt fridge. So if you did put lithium batteries in here, or even as we're running right now, you can run everything in this coach off the batteries, um, except the air conditioner, um, because the air conditioner is 110. The, the hot water heater is gonna drain your batteries, the furnace is gonna drain your batteries, and the AC just won't run. But adding the lithium batteries does give you more capacity to where you can run everything longer. So your 12 volt fridge uses a lot less than the typical 110 fridges that you plug into the wall that every other B plus has. So, so very, very unique having, having the 12 volt fridge. I think it's a great option in something like this, especially if you're thinking about boondocking, you know, I talked about the diesel generator earlier, how easy that made it um, with, with, with the solar panels, the inverter, the diesel generator. And if you do add a couple lithium batteries, even if you don't. So I like this, you know, for a guy my size, I'm six foot tall. As we walk in here, check that out. Pretty easy, right? You just kind of spin it with you. It's kind of like a lazy Susan type thing. Um, but very comfortable here. Right now we have it covered. You can have a couple things. Um, I like how comfortable this is. You know, my kids, if I was driving this, they would sit here and they would draw. They'd play on their, well now they'd play on their iPads. Thank God, thank God. When my kids were little, there were no such thing as iPads. Thank God. Um, I'm not against iPads at all, but man, my kids colored and they and they drew and they played games and all that when uh, when my 18 year old and 15 year old were two and three years old. But if you want, this can turn into a bed. This can be a um, a, a dinette area. There are seat belts here. If you do do need to use seat belts, I like this table area here. And if you don't want a table, just pop the table out and you have the space. If if you want to, you know, prop your feet up, you got tons of tons of space there. So I like this here. I like being able to move. I like being able to spin and be really flexible with this. You know, very neat to where you can even have it like this if you want. So, you know, lots of lots of options there. There's 110 plugs down there. Up here, there's plugs and storage and most storage and even more. So check that out, lots of storage. And keeping keeping with the overall theme, there are the, the, the LED lights everywhere. So RVs have, have changed a lot, right? I mean, 10 years ago, you never would have seen a Murphy bed in an RV. I mean, this is very unique. So there's sleeping for two up top, there's the dinette area here, and then there's this very, very unique Murphy bed. So you can use this as a couch, right? A very comfortable couch. You're hanging out, you're watching TV. There's a place for a table right here. Very comfortable, right? Then when it comes time to go to bed, it's very easy. You take this off and you can move it. You take this off, you can move it as well. And then if you think about it hard enough, the bed drops. 
check that out. And there's legs down there too. Check that out. You just have to think about it hard enough and the bed drops and press the button that's in the bathroom. Both of those together make the bed drop. So very cool. This is almost a queen size bed, almost. You know, like I said, I'm six foot tall, 239 pounds. I've gained a couple pounds in the last couple weeks. Lots of space here for me to sleep, very comfortable. There's a little fancy lights here. Lots of space. Me and my wife could easily sleep here. Nice little window. There are chargers everywhere, but you know, I think this is a very comfortable space. People always ask, what if I have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? So you get up, get down, and you're here. So very easy. If the person on that side has to go, there's room to walk around the bed. So it slides out. This person's sleeping. They got to get up, go to the bathroom drop down, they can go without interrupting their partner. So I like that a lot. Um, I don't like when you have to kind of school, you know, play musical chairs in the middle of the night and move around and all that. Um, both sides have 110 plugs. They also have USB ports next to them. So some people have CPAP machines. Some people have cell phone chargers. They have all kinds of things that they need plugs for. So both sides have those plugs. There's also some storage up above if you need it. I like the headboard. Check that out. I mean, there's a headboard, like a cushion, tufted. I don't know. My wife's a designer and she knows all those terminologies. I don't really know, but it's a headboard. It's not just a piece of wood there like normal. Like this is cool looking, right? Like very unique, great use of space. So you have sleeping for two here. I can put two kids there easily and then two kids in the overhead bunk. I can, sit, I can sleep my entire six-person family here. We would not make it more than about a night or two, but if we had to do it, we would. And now, this folds up. And now your bed's done. People are like, I don't like making my bed every night. I mean, literally, that took two seconds. Like, we did not fast forward that video. Like, that is the real time that it takes to put the bed up, the bed down. You can keep all your pillows on there. Keep all your cushions. So then you grab this and you put it here. Nope. Yep. Like that. You grab this one and you put it here. And guess what? In less than 10 seconds, we are right back to where we started. So I hope that demonstration showed you how easy it is to use this Murphy bed. Like it is, it is just remarkably easy. I can see why this Winnebago view is one of the top, the top selling class B plus Mercedes Sprinter in the world. Like I, I can see why looking at stuff like this at the dinette, at the 12 volt fridge, the solar, everything that they offer. I mean, it is so easy to see why. And, and at Sunshine Center of I'm, I'm, I'm very proud that we're able to carry these, that we're able to represent Winnebago. And, you know, I, I spent some time with the president, his name's Hugh, of Winnebago, really cool English guy, I love his accent. But the question he kept asking us, he's like, hey Nick, I look at the stat surveys and I see how many class Bs you guys sell. And I see that you guys are consistent flying W dealers. I see that there's like 15 Winnebago dealers in Florida and there's only two dealers that are gonna be flying W dealers, us and someone else down in South Florida. But the president of Winnebago is like, Nick, I see how I see that you guys are doing all this. He's like, what is the secret? What is it that you guys are doing? So we talked about service. You know, we do the Sunshine at, the Sunshine State Elite Club where we guarantee service appointments within five days. I told him about our concierge that we drive to your house if you're within 100 miles of us, pick up your RV, bring it back to us and fix it. I talked to him about how we teach people how to use the RVs, how we put them up for two nights in a campground. I told him about the tech support we do over the phone. No matter where you're at camping, we give you tech support over the phone to teach you how to use your RV. And, and he looked at me with his accent. He's just like, you really do all that? I'm like, yeah, man, that's how we have grown from being the small class B dealership to being the number one in the state of Florida, number three in the whole country by doing all of this service. So I, I love how the president of Winnebago, the, one of the biggest RV companies in the country, cares about what little class B dealerships are doing in Florida 
caring about our service, caring about what we do, caring about how we take care of our customers. So Hugh's a great guy. He runs a great company. I and and just really sold on Winnebago. I hope Hugh watches this actually. Um, but he may not actually know me from Adam, but he did ask me those questions, I promise, I promise. Um, so I like it when storage compartments have sliding drawers. So I like to be able to put something in here and put it in its spot and not have to go reach around because I end up knocking everything over when I'm reaching. So I like being able to slide and grab what I need and slide back, right? So really cool. There it is. I like all this flexibility here, nice storage. So some really cool stuff. You got all your other stuff here that, that technical people deal with. I'm not very technical. I'm, I'm more the way it feels, the way it looks, the way you use it, and it works for me, right? So I don't know if there's room for you to join me in the bathroom, but in the bathroom, maybe we can just show clips of it. There is, well, yeah, come on in. Let's hang out together in here. There is this nice big shower, so I am, like I've said, six foot tall. And you don't want this in the shower when you're in here, but you get to use um, the shower being six foot tall, stand in here, take a shower, everything, hot water, cold water, move around, a screen. You can be like on a home improvement. What was that guy's name? Al, who always peeked over the fence. He can kind of peek over the fence. So lots of space in here. That, that bar is a... Um, clothes rod that you can actually hang up towels you can hang things up so really nice nice dry bath nice toilet um, space here we got the mirror then there is storage in here as well and we'll show video of that and pictures um, and nice privacy door so as you're very fancy huh so I like the white I, I actually like it I think as the more I'm in here I am a fan of the white cabinets I'm a fan of it kind of lightens it up, you know, it kind of gives you that that nice feel where it's not all dark. Now they do have big windows, but you want to keep those windows closed sometimes. And the white cabinets give you that nice kind of brightness in here. So we talked about the management, power management. We talked about the insulation, the, the fiberglass roof, the construction, we talked about the full body paint, talked about the tank capacities, which we'll show on the screen again, like 40 gallons. Like who needs all that, right? Um, talked about the really cool Murphy bread bed, the 12 volt fridge, all the stores, the convection microwave, the ease, the access of everything, the Mercedes Sprinter V6, get, probably gets you 17, 18, 19 miles a gallon, depending on how you drive. Nice big screen, push button start, all the luxuries that you are used to in your Mercedes. I did mention the Sunshine State Elite Club, which I think is one of the biggest reasons the biggest reasons why that sets Sunshine State RVs apart from everybody else. Um, like I've said, we are so, so stinking proud to be able to carry Winnebago, to be able to carry their full line of Bs, to carry their B pluses, and to, and to continue to grow with them. They're a company that I look forward to in the future. Sunshine State RVs continue to grow with Winnebago. There is one thing I didn't mention though. We offer free delivery anywhere in the country. No matter where you live, no matter what you do, we will deliver this or any RV we have to your house for free. So very, very neat uh, thing that we offer at Sunshine State RVs. I've never seen anybody else in the country do that. So we always try to find things that no one else is doing and just do it and try to be different, you know? So anyways, I know this might've been a little bit of a long video, but I do appreciate you watching and watching me fumble through this 2023 Winnebago view and to learn with you what makes this the best selling B plus Sprinter on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Check out our RVs on our website, sunshinestayrvs.com. And I would love to meet you or to answer any questions you have. Thank you.